you know, sometimes sucking it is a waste of time. Just eat the whole thing. My name is Mark Brown. We're here to pick up some fixings for one of my favorite dishes, gambas a la ajillo, uh, garlic shrimp. It's a Spanish dish. This is a Mexican market, but they got everything we need. I try to speak Spanish in here just to practice, but they, they defer to my English somehow. I don't know. Delish. All right, we're going to go to the meat counter. Hola. The camarón. Camarón con cabeza. Ancho. All right. That's for me. That's not going in the pan. We're back in the kitchen at this land press. We're going to do gambas al ajillo. This is so stupid simple. You need like three things. Look at this garlic. That's like a clove right there. Big old garlic cloves. This is the good stuff. Some good Spanish oil. I've got a guy in town named Jorge. Has cousins in uh, Andalusia, which is a good Spanish uh, olive oil region. So we're gonna heat up some oil a lot, more than you probably think you need, because this is all gonna be eaten. First thing we're gonna do is rip this chili out and soften it in the oil. We don't want all the seed, we just want this. I'm gonna use half of it, maybe. I kind of look at the pan and think, it's kind of getting crowded, but that looks good. This is a dish uh, that uh, is popular in the, in the Catalonia region of Spain, which is Costa Brava, birthplace of Dali, Salvador Dali. It's Spain being a peninsula, Iberian peninsula. Lots and lots and lots of uh, seafood. We need a lemon slice it because it's just going to get squished into the pan. There's some smoke rising off so we lower that because we're getting ready to add shrimp. Note the head. You got to have the heads. It's part of the dish. We're going to eat it. They'll color pretty quickly. Throw in the garlic. On mass. You want the heat kind of high because it's kind of cool to actually burn the shells a bit because I like to eat the shells and if you don't get them nice and cooked, they're hard to eat. It's actually Spanish sea salt. I've got this guy, Jorge. I mean, he gives me all the Spanish stuff, so I use it. Lots of salt because the shells are gonna eat it. The shells will get nice and crusty. A little smoked pepper. Secret weapon we'll add at the end is a smoked paprika. You can feel with the end of your spoon, they firm up. And you don't wanna go too hard because I'll get weird and wonky, so I'm going off with the heat. Lemon. I'm gonna do some sherry vinegar. A couple of acids. All right, that just needs to kind of do its thing for a sec. It's like they're sleeping. So I, I first ate this in this little village they called uh, Catechus, and it's where Dolly built a house for his wife, Gala, and all her boyfriends. There's a little bitty tiny spot there, just kind of like a cantina, really. And they had all kinds of little crusted shrimp, scallop, langoustine. They all would come out looking like that, just kind of in a pan with juices and whole and all these gizzardy looking things and legs and stuff. So there is one way and one way only to eat these. And the reason we get them with the head, first thing you have to do is rip it off. And down inside there is this orangey, gelatinous -y, brainy stuff. And this is what I live for right here. So the first thing you do is like, Suck out the brain. There's a little bit of meat in there too, and you can kind of gnaw at it. But it's so primal that to do it without that was missing the whole point. And there's more of that stuff here, and there's legs, but you just eat it because it's you cooked it right. With the shell and the wine, because they love each other. There's just been so much effort to remove the unsightly aspects, I guess, you know, of the of food, the head. What we really lost is the, the flavor. I mean, I know people who don't eat meat that has bones, all kinds of natural and, and capable things that it can deliver in terms of flavor. And you're missing out on everything when you just get a shrimp that doesn't have all that it comes with. Gambas a la ajillo. Where it feels a little sexy, like weird. You're kind of like, what is that? I love that.